Good morning. Uh, we have a flat, and that that Milwaukee tire pump, air pump, whatever you want to call it, that thing is a lifesaver. Like when we come out and it's flat, it's so nice to be able to pump it up quick and actually be able to drive somewhere to fill it up. It is uh, a game changer. Thank you, mom and dad, for that birthday present. See, that one's flat. We just got a flat, so we had to buy a brand new tire there. The one behind it, nail. So that's gonna go flat. It's just flats everywhere. I am in the field today. It's the first time I've actually like been in the field field for five months. And it's because we are in Arizona, as you guys know, and next weekend, well not this coming weekend, but the weekend after, probably the weekend that you're watching this, um, is the Phoenix Open here in the Valley and the Super Bowl. The biggest weekend of the decade. There are hundreds of thousands of people that come down Airbnb listings are through the roof. So we have a bunch of products that people want done before the Super Bowl and before their renters come into the houses. So we are grinding away, which means I need to be more helpful than just being behind a computer and growing the business. Sometimes you just need to buckle down and actually generate some revenue. So that is what we're doing today. Okay, so Bri and I are at a new project. I probably won't be here through the entire project because we're onboarding our uh, maintenance division, but I'm, I'm gonna talk through a few things here because I'm not in the field very often anymore. Okay, so we pulled up all of this irrigation because there's a problem with the irrigation. And this is like that poly, someone can correct me, I never know the terminology, but like the poly piping, and you can see underground, all of these things are disconnected. So basically where everything split, they put they put a connecting piece in here and they broke because they must have not connected them right or they just broke down over time. So if you're doing long runs like this, we'd usually recommend doing a PVC pipe, like you'd run a PVC pipe all the way down here and then you'd have emitters that run off of it. One thing these guys did do right is they ended up making it a, a big loop so the pressure just evenly flows through the entire system so like if we just did one run from like that corner a run of irrigation all the way down and then there's just a cap at the end of that irrigation down there um, the pressure would just decrease as you work your way down if it's a loop the pressure loops all the way through and there's just an equal amount of pressure through that pipe so not one plant receives more or less water than the other on top of that what we're doing well we're fixing the irrigation we're fixing a bunch of erosion. So you can see that this has eroded away completely. And we need to build that up so cars don't just fall off uh, the ledge because she's gonna end up making an Airbnb. And then we're putting in 50 tons of rock all through here, which will be huh, exciting. And you're probably wondering, hey Brian, where are you taking that dirt from? That's actually where the larger project is. You've kind of seen number one, we sod kicked everything, sod cut. And number two, now we're just scraping things out. So in the back of the house, uh, she had Bermuda grass. So this stuff is super hardy and uh, it just wasn't doing well back here. And she's trying to conserve some water. So we're tearing out all the grass and we're putting in new turf. So what we need to do and what you're seeing is we're actually tearing out four to six inches because we got to get all the roots out of here. We're tearing out all the dirt and then we'll bring in base and then we'll put in our turf couple of things. Here are a few tips for you. Here are a few tips for our guys. This area here, there is an irrigation box here and there's a line of like this older brick edging. Now that stuff's super fragile, but she wants to keep it. So we wanted to get that ditch witch over here. Therefore, what we do is we build up a bunch of dirt to disperse the weight. So our irrigation box is protected down there. Our uh, brick edging is connect is protected there. And then we're actually able to come over here and work on the next section. This was also grass, okay? This tree is, as you can tell, it kind of looks like this tree wouldn't really be able to bleed into the lawn. Cause you're almost like, well, there's, there's a wall with a footing. Like some of the stuff seems to go a little bit off to the left, but because there's so much irrigation in here and this is, well, a desert, this tree, the roots actually reached, it did a big old grab for water all the way across this thing. 
So we actually had to scrape out deeper than four to six inches because we need to make sure the roots are gone because we can't have loamy material under here that might push up our turf or break down under our turf. So this area, not ideal. We're gonna have to cut all of this out. And then over here, this area actually is more ideal because this is more like a gravelly base. You can see we're also laying turf over sprinklers. So what we do is we expose, expose the sprinklers, we unscrew them and we cap them. So we cap it all the way down at the PVC. I feel comfortable capping things at PVC because PVC doesn't seem to uh, deteriorate very fast. So we should be good. And this area also acts on its own zone. So if there is a problem, like we can just cut off the zone completely. And then you just won't have any irrigation coming over here because it really doesn't even need it over here. But uh, we cap it just in case like someone decides, ah, change my mind in the future. Maybe I want real grass again. The irrigation's already there and it's not a big deal. You saw over there, we had a pile of dirt. It was a big pile. Annoyingly in Arizona, we have to take everything to the dump. There isn't anywhere for us to dump dirt, grass, trimmings for free. Like in Minnesota, you can do that. Here, no go. Our bottleneck is Brian going to the dump. So to fix that bottleneck, I stage everything right there for him. So I take everything from over there, bring it, pile it up for him. So when he comes back from the dump, all he has to do, quickly scoop it, get into the trailer and get on out of here. So what we're ultimately doing is we're constantly trying to work on efficiencies, right? Like we're trying to figure out how do we get a job done quicker always? What can we do to help each other get jobs done quicker? And so like, that's my job, that's a general manager's job, that's a foreman's job. It's a team effort to try to run this thing as quick and efficiently as possible. And there's my big old update. Time to get back to it. Making progress. So, this almost all the way cleaned out. This almost ready for base. We still need to like take a chainsaw along that edge. It's gonna be messy, but we got these edges figured out. Still have to dig up all this irrigation, cap it. We might have to tear up all the lines to be honest, but it's old and scary. In other news, we have to. Like this is rusted. I'm pretty sure this is a gas line. So got to replace that because that's all rusted out. I don't really want it to be in turf. And then you cut your foot and you get tetanus. Um, in other news, we started tearing out the dirt around this and the dirt was holding this fake rock together. By fake rock, I mean just cracked concrete that looks like a rock, which is kind of cool. We're gonna take that out. And honestly, the client kind of already wanted it out, but I wasn't willing to commit because I didn't know what that was gonna look like. Like, I didn't know if it was gonna be hollow, if it was gonna be one big massive thing of concrete. I was scared. I didn't know because I was scared. I think I'm gonna wrap this thing up for the day. Look at that. He's taking down our rock. Oh, wow, so fun. That was pretty easy. Would have never guessed that rock was like that. This coming out, good to go. Found some irrigation. We'll be digging up all of that so we can cap it. And uh, this side's almost ready to go. So Brad's just finishing up over there. We're making darn good progress. So I'm definitely pretty happy. I think, I think this might be my last day on this job site, unfortunately. I've had fun in the field, but it might not be for me. I just, I don't think I, look at, I, I don't know if I'm meant for this anymore. I just, I just not in good enough shape. It's probably good for me, but we better get back to it so they don't judge me. You probably saw it. The main line to the irrigation broke right there. All right, so it snapped. This whole thing filled up with water super, super quick. It's always scary. It's kind of hard not to freak out because you see a lot of water going everywhere and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm ruining everything. Let me teach you something quick. In this house specifically, this is 
the shutoff and turn on to this irrigation. So this was on constantly. So this water and this pipe was just filled with pressure. That's why we could not turn that thing off. And I didn't know it was there. So I was like, oh gosh, we couldn't find it. So we actually had to turn off the main valve uh, at the city water line. So turn off the valve and water to the entire house, right? Water's flowing really fast, right? It's turned into a swimming pool. You start to freak out. You can't find the, the water uh, turn off valve, shut off valve for the irrigation system. So what do you do? You have to find the shut off valve for the main water line. So in this scenario, the main line, not right there, not main shut off. That's actually more valves. It's actually right here. So it's right next to the street. Most of these houses in Scottsdale, they have their water main, like their actual shut off, like real close to the street. You can see it's like maybe six feet. Um, to turn it off, you're gonna use this tool. You got a T on it and a U on the bottom. You're gonna stick this tool right in here. There's a valve right there. Sorry, it's dark. You're gonna put it on here. You're gonna turn it to the right. You see that little circle? You're gonna turn it so it lines up with this hole. Then it's gonna turn off. And you're gonna see those numbers stop flying. Because trust me, when you hit a water main, whoo, that's running a water bill mighty, mighty fast. You don't need to panic. Because trust me, we've done it. It happens. And then you say sorry for turning off the water. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.